if you want to buy my notes then check the link in the description below and install the app now in this video we will see a problem on thevenin's theorem question find current through rl using thevenin's theorem now here we have to find the current through this rl that is we have to find the current through this 2 ohm resistor by using thevenin's theorem solution now for thevenin's theorem we need rl that is load resistor the value of load resistor is given it is 2 ohm then we need the value of rth which is thevenin's resistance and we need the value of vth which is thevenin's voltage so first of all let's find the value of rth now to find rth to find rth what we will do we will remove rl and turn off remove rl and turn off all independent sources all independent sources so let's remove rl now from here if we remove this rl so this will be our rth now and we have to turn off the voltage source so when we remove this voltage source or when we turn off that voltage source it will be replaced by a short circuit now here we can see this 4 ohm and 5 ohm are connected in parallel so here we can write 4 ohm parallel with 5 ohm so it is equal to 4 into 5 divided by 4 plus 5 now if we solve this it will be 4 into 5 divided by 4 plus 4 plus 5 so it is 2.2 2.2 ohm now this 2.2 ohm here we can draw it it is 2.2 .2 ohm now this 2.2 ohm is in series with 6 ohm so here we can write rth is equal to 6 plus 2.2 .2. so therefore rth is equal to 8.2 ohm now we got the value of thevenin's resistance next we have to find the value of thevenin's voltage vth so to find vth to find vth again what we will do we will remove rl and find voc is equal to vth so here in this circuit if we remove this rl then this will be our vth this will be positive terminal and this will be negative terminal now here we can see this is open circuited so the current through this 6 ohm will be zero that means this load voltage will be our vth the voltage across this 5 ohm will be our vth so to find to find voltage across this 5 ohm we will use to find vth we will use voltage division rule here we can directly write by using by using voltage division rule so by using voltage division rule vth is equal to this voltage 20 multiplied with 5 divided by 5 plus 4 now if we solve this we get vth so let's solve this it will be 20 into 5 into 20 into 5 divided by 5 plus 4 so it is 11.11.1 11 point, 11 point volt this is the value for vth now we got the value of vth and rth so we can draw thevenin equivalent circuit now this will be our resistor rth and this will be our resistor 
R L. This is R L. This is V T H. This is R T H. And this is current I L. So the value of V T H is eleven point one volt. And the value of V T H is V T H value is the value of R T H value is eight point two ohm. So it is eight point two ohm. And the value of R L. The value of R L is two ohm. So two ohm. Now to find I L, we will use this formula. V T H upon R T H plus R L. So V T H here is eleven point one divided by R T H is eight point two plus R L value two. So if we solve this, we get I L is equal to eleven point one divided by eight point two plus two. So it is one point zero eight eight ampere this is the current through 2 ohm resistor or this is the current through rl don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching